Uh, good morning, Mayor and Council. My name is Zulema Lazarin. Thank you. Uh, my purpose for being here today is to state that I'm very disappointed in the uh, decision with the Mayor and City Council uh, who have made the decision to amend this ordinance. Uh, the people of El Paso voted you all into office, and now their votes no longer matter. And so my rights and the rights of the people of El Paso have been violated, disregarded, disrespected, and outright defied. And this is not right. We live in America, not a socialistic country. And that's what it's becoming. And secondly, um, I, 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 I don't care for the fact that the retirees and the rest of the groups were incorporated and targeted to become part of this, this ordinance uh, in order to help you all with this battle. Uh, that was a cheap shot that backfired. You all know what, what it was meant to do, and it was not meant to include the retirees and all the other groups. In conclusion, I'm also appalled at the fact that the motion passed unanimously, with the exception of Carl Robinson in February, to remove the polling sites and the churches in an effort to keep the churches from participating in, the, in voting for the domestic partner benefits issue. Um, this is another example of a tactic that this administration has engaged in to undermine the people of El Paso. And I just plead with you, those who have made the decision to amend this uh, ordinance, to please respect the rights of the people. Thank you, Mr. Ignacio Padilla. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Mayor, City Council. My message is very, very simple. Respect the vote. And this, and this message is to you, Mayor, and the City Council. You denied some of our citizens easy access to vote by removing the voting booths from the, our churches in the hope of reducing and discouraging the vote of the religious conservative voters in our city. It backfired on you mayor and city council because the ordinance was approved in November. The voters are outraged that you, mayor, and some council members are set on challenging the vote of our citizens. This is not the city of Juarez where the voice of its citizens is ignored. This is El Paso, Texas, in our United States of America, where our vote is respected and not altered by the mayor and council. You were voted. You were voted into office to uphold the law, not to manipulate the law. The citizens of El Paso have voted. You have no right to challenge their vote or alter the ordinance to suit yourselves. Be respectful to our city and its citizens. The next speaker, Mr. Manny Hinojosa, Mr. Hinojosa's topic, democracy versus tyranny. I would like to begin by asking you, Ms. Lilly, on the west side there's a church by the name of Jesus Chapel West. They have no sign. They tried to put a new modern sign out there, and the inspectors apparently approved it and then disapproved it. Please, can I have your word that you'll follow up on that? I already know about it, Mr. Hinojosa. I don't know if that's yours or and, Ms. Nyland's, no, but please. I'd well, but I know about it. All right, well, thank you. Whoever it pertains it to, illegal. please. It was illegal. It, well, they, they have a permit, so please check into it. That's I all have, I'm asking. And it was illegal. Right, right now, they have no sign, and at least let them put back their old sign, please. Anyway, getting back to other matters. Um, I am here because of the First Amendment. I am here because of the rule of law. I am not here because of your whim or your disagreement. Now, we've already been attacked on our democratic process. I'm going to, for the record, I want the record to show that I'm not going to use personal attacks or name calling. I'm going to read from the dictionary, which is according to, this is your rule of law, what you're supposed to live by. Call to the public is a time reserved for members of the public. That's me, taxpayer, $13,000 a year, so you don't be reading your emails while I'm talking. Thank you very much. I uh, would like to address the city council on items that are not on this agenda. That's what I'm going to talk about, something that is not on your agenda. Now. Let me tell you the first thing, definitions, not name-calling. A conflict of interest, 
conflict of interest, okay? When a public official takes actions that might benefit his or her office. Does that sound familiar?